Hi guys! So today I wanted to do the tag a witch in quarantine and I will be posting the questions in the description box below and feel free to do this tag. So let's get right into it. There are 10 questions and the first question is herb you have used the most during quarantine. That would be elder, both elderberry and elderflower. There is uh, these capsules that I am taking, that the family is taking, just to keep our immune systems healthy and keep ourselves healthy and strong and combat illness. And it's a capsule that's a mixture of elderberry and elderflower. So we've been taking those. That's probably the most prominent herb that I've been taking. Favorite stone or crystal to hold or use during quarantine? Uh, I don't have all of my witchy stuff with me at the moment where I'm at, but I do have a couple of things with me. I do have an amethyst stone. It was actually part of my keychain. It fell off, but I have the stone. And so the amethyst is one that I've been working with. Um, I also had gone through some old Goodwill stuff that was to be given away, and I got the seashell necklace. I have another one. This one's white seashells. There's another one that's um, brown seashells. And there's also a rose quartz and gold necklace. So um, I decided to put on the seashells today. So probably uh, the amethyst and, and I guess seashells as well is what I'm working with. Have you done any spells during quarantine and what were they? I have not. Uh, I'm not one to do spells. That's just not my part of my. That's not a large part of my practice. I, I do have you know information to do spell work and such, but I don't do spell work very often already in my practice and in my life, uh, let alone now. <laughs> so uh, no, I have not done any spells. If anything, I've just helped that my friends and family are safe and healthy and that the world as a whole is healthy and that, you know, I, I don't want anyone to get this illness and I don't want anyone to die, but I know that it is happening. Um, but I just hope that people can stay safe and healthy and also for the earth to continue to heal. Uh, she obviously is healing. We can see that from the different uh, pictures that we've gotten from various places around the world and in America of not people not being out and about, cars not being on the road and such, the earth's been able to heal. The pollution and smog has gone away and the earth is healing. And I just wish, I, just, I hope that the earth continues to heal. And I hope that in the future, when we are able to get back together and have community uh, to have normalcy again to get back to not having to be in quarantine and lockdown I hope that the earth continues to heal and that we become greener as a collective as a, as a as a species around the world that we realize that being green is extremely important I know it's been a trend uh since I've been in high school and it's, it's becoming more popular, but I, I hope that it continues so that the earth can continue to heal and that we don't go back to polluting her again. Most listened to song, artist, or music during quarantine? Um, I actually haven't been listening to that much music. Uh, I've actually been watching more YouTube videos. I've been just watching different magical channels, uh man like wit like Keldon and Witch Please, Adam Ballin, uh, Joey Morris, uh, Ember Honey Raven. She has some new videos on like Oracle deck reviews. Uh, reviews. Is that what I said? <laughs> and there's others. Uh, Piper's channel. She's been doing some cool uh, videos for the different Sabbaths. And just mainly doing doing that. Um, I really, when I have downtime, I'd rather read, uh, work on my Book of Shadows, or just watch some YouTube videos. So that's what I've been doing. 
favorite go-to food during quarantine? Okay, well, I'm getting spoiled right now. So because we're in quarantine, I feel that I cannot stick to my gluten-free diet. Um, not that I have to medically, it's just for my thyroid um, to help heal it, but it's not a necessity. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm so dark. I'm sorry, guys. The sun actually is going away, so I'm going to take this off. It was very bright for, for a while there. Um, the foods that I've been eating have been gluten, <laughs> which has been a treat to be able to eat really whatever I want because I can now eat gluten. And uh, family has been uh, making cakes and such, which I'm not used to. And so we've actually been having quite a lot of sweets. Uh, which has been nice to, to be able to indulge in that. Because once we're done with this quarantine, what, however long that takes, I, I'm going back to the gluten-free diet, and I'm going back to having more whole foods in my diet the way I was. Uh, so that's probably been the biggest change for me. Number six, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have left? We have plenty. We have plenty. We did not go out and, you know, crazy with toilet paper. We didn't go out and go crazy uh, we actually had already been, uh, stocking up, sorry, here, we actually, like, had already gone shopping and had already stocked up before the whole craziness of COVID-19 happened, and since then, we've still been able to shop, uh, for food and, and, and such, and so we've been able to continue to get toilet paper. We haven't run out, and, um, I want to say, one, we haven't run out, and two, we're not stockpiling, so. How are you mentally holding up? I'm, I'm better. Uh, In the beginning, let me fix my camera slightly. In the be, in the beginning, um, uh, this is why it's taken me a month to get back into making videos, or probably a little over a month making videos, because when it first hit the fan, when the world became aware of COVID-19, when America did, when it hit Oregon, which is where I'm at, uh, you know, once that hit, my brain and body was constantly going into fight, flight, or freeze mode consistently, which is what happens, um, during a pandemic or something like this. And, I was constantly going back and forth between those stages and just mentally exhausted and physically exhausted and just trying to accept my new normal and my new schedule and way of life and accepting what's happening. And I feel like I've been able to get over that hurdle Um, I still worry about friends and family that are not with me, like in, in quarantine, but I've been in communication with them and they're all doing good right now. I hope they stay that way. And I've realized that now that I've gotten acclimated to the new normal, I want to continue to make videos and, and keep posting videos. Um, I will say that you don't have to do videos and things like this if if you're, you know, for, first and foremost is just surviving through this. That's the first thing. If you're still going through the fight, flight, and freeze, and I still am here and there with news that I hear and, and new things that come up, then that's t- totally fine. Like, I'm not perfectly fine now. I'm not all peachy keen now. I'm just better than I was a month ago. And, you know, if you're just in survival mode still, that's perfectly fine. Um, Hopefully you can also do some self-care because that's important. I think that'll help you with uh, the mental state, the emotional state, the physical state, if you can have some type of self-care. And again, not, I don't, you know, I would never expect anybody to just go like, oh, tons of self-care. Like, no, like one thing that you can do a day that's self-care, um, to help you out, for me, I've, I still do my daily oracle card reading. I, um, I enjoy the food that I get. We, we, we have scheduled, um, meal times for the most part. Well, we have scheduled dinner, sometimes scheduled lunch, not like 
not like it's like scheduled, but like we all come together for dinner as a family and, and sit down and have dinner together. And sometimes we do that for lunch. Um, and I, I take time to do whatever I can. Um, one thing that I've started to do is I try, I have one productive thing that I do a day. That's it. One, just one productive thing that I can do each day amidst obviously just surviving, you know, um, surviving to me is eating, uh, take, you know, just taking care of you, uh, trying, you know, trying or remembering to take a shower and making sure that the people I'm with are also okay. Self care on top of that is finding time to have me time, uh, to just sit down and watch TV fine, you know, get on YouTube and watch videos or just watch TV. That's, that's self-care. That's something that helps me to relax. Um, I find time during the day to work on my book of shadows or read, um, and write. And now I'm trying to find time to make videos. Um, but it's taking me a month to get comfortable to find the time to do all this and, uh, find my new normal and acceptance and, uh, just going back to the question of how am I mentally holding up? I, I'm holding up, you know, I still worry, but I've learned to accept what's happening and I'm going one day at a time. Oh yeah. So I am trying to do one productive thing a day. Um, something that I can do, uh, to help out, uh, while we're in quarantine, uh, if, if anybody needs any assistance with anything, whether it's like doing laundry or, or dishes or, um, we're helping out with the garden that we have just something productive to do, uh, one productive thing to do each day. And that's, that's all it, you know, if I can, if I can go to bed at night, knowing that I had, one self-care thing that I did that day and I had one productive thing that I did that day, then I'm good. And I don't make plans. I don't make to-do lists. I I make to-done lists. (laughs) That's something I had to give credit to my partner because he made me realize this. I don't create a to-do list. I, I, of course I do have, I still have things happening in life that I got to be aware of um, as far as timing and such. So of course I have a schedule, but I don't have a to-do list of things that I want to get done or have to get done that day. I have a to-done list and that is at the end of the day, I, I, you know, in bed, I think about what did I get done today? What did I achieve today? What did I do today? That was positive. That was self-care that made me happy. And I think about that and I'm grateful that I had those opportunities. I'm grateful that I did those things and it is a to-done list instead of a to-do list. Next question is quarantine hobbies, or did you gain one? Uh, Quarantine hobbies, um, getting into gardening and, well, man, uh, I've, I've continued to work on my book of shadows, which uh, I haven't had time to do or like the energy to do beforehand. So finding time to work my book of shadows. I've been reading uh, witchy books a lot more and developing information and notes for my book of shadows. I've been developing my ISPIT information right now. And so um, what's funny is before this, I focused a lot, like before all this happened, my me time and downtime was to work on my business because that made me happy. And the idea of working on magical stuff was like... (laughs) Uh, except for my coven, um, which I'll, I'll, I talked about in my update video, but I'll mention that really quickly. At, at, I'll mention at the end. Uh, but I didn't really do anything. And I wanted to keep working my book of shadows. And I wanted to read. And I wanted to develop this bit information. Those were like my three main goals this year. And I hadn't been doing them. Well, now that I have time because I'm not working, I have been able to um, find the time to do those things. And... That, I think that is some hobbies that I've been able to be doing, which is very gratifying and self-care for me. So I, I really uh, enjoy doing that. Read any good books during quarantine? 
yes, uh, I've been reading all of my ISPIT based books. Oh my gosh, I have so many, but let me try and think about um, The Hedgewitch Book of Days by Mandy Mitchell is really good. Uh, I finally wrapped my head around Moonology by Yasmin Bolin. <laughs> uh, and oh my gosh, oh yeah, um, Everyday Sun Magic and Everyday Moon Magic by Dorothy Morrison. I've been able to gather the information I wanted from there and, and put it to my ISPIN information. And was there any other books? Uh, for the most part, I think that's it. As far as books. That's what I've been reading so far. Most lit incense during quarantine. Again, I don't have my incense with me. Uh, but what I do have, which I've been using, is before all of this, during like the flu season, during like winter, um, I made some thieves oil. Uh, so that's a mixture of, and you can look it up online, but I'm pretty sure, actually, let me just look it up really quickly. I have my phone with me, uh, because I followed the basic thieves recipe. Um, and it, cause I have a bunch of essential oils and I made my own. If Google will help me out. So it is a combination of cinnamon, clove, lemon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. And I'm just looking to see if there were any other oils. No, just those. So those five. Cinnamon, clove, le lemon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. And you... Blend it, you mix it together with the carrier oil, and I have a spray that I've been using, and then I have a couple of um, dropper bottles of it. Uh, and so I've, yeah, I've, I've been um, using that on occasion. It's not too important for me to use it all up right now because I am in complete isolation in quarantine, but uh, occasionally when we get like groceries and stuff, I will put some of that on me just to boost my immune system. Very similar to the elderberry, elderflower capsules we've been taking. It just helps to boost the immune system. And it's that thieves oil, uh, which was developed during the plague in Europe to help combat the plague. I, I, I'm not saying that it combats anything, but the oils do help to boost your immune system and antibacterial, antifungal, um, oils, I, I believe. And so I just know that it's a good medicinal like blend to do. I am not a doctor and I am not saying that it will help you medicinally as a witch. I am using it as a defense, uh, just like the elderberry flower capsules, uh, to keep myself healthy. So as far as the incense, that's, that's the one I've been using. So yes, yeah, so that, those are the questions. And that's what I've been uh, doing during quarantine. And I, I do I do think this is a, a good tag because even though it the title is A Witch in Quarantine, it helps all of us understand what people are doing uh, magically in their practice right now in quarantine and allows us to continue to spread that witchiness around and possibly gives people some ideas of things that they can do to continue to incorporate the magic into their lives, um, even if they don't have everything that they usually have with them or don't, or don't feel like they um, might have the ability. I'm sure there's hopefully something you could do to bring some of that magic back into your life. If anything, just getting on the internet, watching these YouTube videos uh, is one thing that's been really helping me as far as community. Oh, and the thing I was going to mention was, uh, my coven. So I have a coven and we've been meeting, uh, well, we, we, before all this, we would meet in person, obviously, um, bi-monthly on Saturdays. And now we're not obviously. Um, but what we've, what I've done is the group gets together on Facebook messenger video chat and we conduct our meetings online through there, uh, live FaceTime. And we also conduct the rituals that way. I 
develop a shorter ritual than what we have done in the past. So usually our rituals that we do as a group, I would conduct and it had, I'd have different parts that other people would conduct. And it'd take about an hour and a half, two hours. And now I've brought them down to being a half hour to 40 minute ritual. And I conduct it live through the video chat. And I have, um, I kind of walk uh, the other people, the members through what to do on their end. So everyone's doing the ritual themselves. And I've picked more solitary rituals uh, that we can do as a group. So basically everyone does a, the, the ritual on their end. And the reason I've picked solitary rituals is because it's easier for them to then do the ritual on their end. And beforehand, I give them a list of supplies and things that they may or may not need. I try and make it as minimal, minimalist as possible because uh, I know we can't just go out and buy stuff that we want or need. And we conduct the ritual online together and I walk the everyone through it and I do it myself and we just walk through it. Um, and I do... Uh, also uh, send the meeting notes for the meetings to everybody on email via email, which is what I've always done. And that's what we've been doing um, for the coven. That's what we've been doing. And we also talk online as well um, and keep in touch. So that's another witchy thing we've been doing is doing online rituals and online coven meetings, which I think uh, I've, I've heard a lot of um, covens have been doing. So yes, uh, that is the Witch in Quarantine tag, and the questions are linked below. I mean, the questions are in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone stays safe and healthy, and blessed be.